Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Chainlink and the Chainlink token. We're going to be doing some technical analysis for Chainlink and we will also be discussing the network activity in Chainlink and how this can affect its future price action. So as I've mentioned before in my previous Chainlink video, and if you haven't watched that, I will put a link in the description. As I've mentioned before, every time we went under the 100 day moving average right here, we had a pump right here. I, I'm gonna, just going to highlight it again right here. Every time we went under it, or if we've, if we've been consolidating and we went under the 100 day moving average, we always went for under pump. But starting from September, to around uh january we've been under the 100 day moving average for quite some time and as you can see this never this has never happened before in the 100 day moving average this is the longest time we've ever been under the 100 day moving average in here in about uh, 23rd of january or 22nd we did go above the 100 day moving average and right here we were only consolidating the reason why we went below the 100 day moving average again is because when Tesla announced that they bought $1.5 billion of Bitcoin in t from Tesla, this thing happened. Bitcoin went from like 35, 30,000 to like almost 50,000, which was, this is the reason on why we went uh, below the 100 day moving average again. And this has never happened before actually. This is the first time where every, because I've mentioned before, every time it went uh, above the 100 day moving average, it just went for a pump and then it went back down but as well as you can see here we've never we haven't had a pump this we can, you cannot even call this a pump but right now we have reached our all-time high was around 35 or 36 dollars as long as i can remember but after tesla announced that they bought 1.5 billion dollars of bitcoin we did go below down but we did go back up and right now as this dump the market the market right now is dumping and right now we are still above the 100 day moving average and if we can man maintain this support right here this is good news for chainlink and we might go to a 50 to 100 dollars now let's take a look at the link ethereum chart so right now we are looking at the link ethereum chart and let's just highlight it again went below the 100 day moving average and went back up and here it did go below there but not too much here again and here and here it just consolidated and right now we have been under the 100 day moving average for quite some time in ethereum as well due to the bull run and now we almost reach the 100 day moving average again with tesla news and also with the market dump we are having a hard time going back above the 100 day moving average but i'm still bullish on chainlink because we've seen before that every time it went under the 100 day moving average it did go back up i'm basing my predictions of chainlink from previous historical price action because that can help us predict on how it will move or the future prediction of chainlink now let's take a look at this article it says here chainlink setting new all-time high yet again crosses 34 Point seven dollars as exchange supply stays low and if we take a look at viewbase.com we can see that every month hundreds of thousands of chain link tokens actually millions actually has been withdrawn from big exchanges so the supply is getting very very low so as the price of chain link goes higher right here the supply on exchanges have been lowering people are withdrawing their chainlink tokens to their private wallets and right now let's talk about chainlink's network activity has grown by 10x two years in a row and how this can affect its future price action peterson right here uh tweeted out uh, chainlink's network activity has grown by a factor of 10 two years in a row and at a fairly consistent rate over 400 crypto projects use chainlink technology Expanding on Mr. Peterson's observation, a total of 414 blockchain-related projects use Chainlink technology in one form or the other. As we all know, Chainlink 
announces new partnerships with blockchain projects in almost a daily basis. Sometimes they partner with one or two on a daily basis. So right now, I wouldn't be surprised if this number goes to a thousand at the end of the year. And right here it says, Link price continues to benefit from increased network activity. To note that 315 projects had integrated Chainlink technology by early November 2020. With the current 414, this translates to a 31.4% increment in the number of blockchain projects using Chainlink in a span of roughly 3.5 months. During that time period, Chainlink's price almost tripled in value from approximately $10 in early November to its current value of $28. This in turn proves Mr. Peterson's Metcalfe model of valuing digital assets using network activity. According to his Metcalfe model, Link's value is based on function calls by the various blockchain protocols that use its price feeds and oracles. The more function calls are made, the higher the demand for the Link token which is at the core of the Chainlink network. This creates a feedback loop that increases the value of Link. This converse is also true. A drop in Link function will also result in a dip in its value. So as we all know, right now there is a, a dump in the market. And the Ethereum gas fees are so high, like you need at least $500 just to trade on Uniswap. And we, if you take a look at right here, in the last seven days, for almost 400,000 Chainlink rewards have been given to node operators, which is roughly $12 million. Two or three weeks ago, this was around 7 to 8 million. This was two or three weeks ago, guys. And right now, a node operators needs to buy more Chainlink in order to keep their nodes running, which is why we surpassed more than $30 in value. I think the network activity has an impact on the price itself because two weeks ago, the rewards were around 7 to $8 million and the network activity has been rising as well with a daily average transactions of 41,000 and as more partnerships Chainlink gets, the network increases which also affects Chainlink's price action. And right here we have a tweet from Chainlink God, number go down, a gas price go up, price feed updates go brr. What I'm saying is that regardless of this extreme Ethereum network congestion, high transaction fees, caused by significant market volatility, arbitrage bots, Chainlink price feeds continue to update without any issue. So let's just take a look at the DeFi hacks of 2020. So BZX, date February 18, 2020, they lost around 650,000 of user funds due to flash loan attacks. Now, if you didn't know, flash loan attacks can be solved if your protocol uses Chainlink Oracle's price feeds. And if we scroll down here, another $449,000 lost due to flash loan attacks. This is Balancer Protocol. And we, if we scroll down again, 15 million lost flash loan attack. And then here, Harvest Finance, okay? Harvest Finance was exploited via flash loan attack that resulted in the loss of over 25 24 million dollars after harvest finance got flash loan attacked and lost 24 million right now they uses chainlink oracles before this they weren't using chainlink oracles which is why they lost 24 million dollars and as we all know ocr feeds are being tested on the mainnet basically what ocr will do is that it will lower the gas cost for price feeds significantly and right here another article Chainlink continuing to make the world more fair with their reinstatements Chainlink expressed that they are excited to award Cortis's tech a grant to build an automated testing framework that devs can use to stress test Chainlink Oracle networks allowing them to verify their Oracle's resilience during Black Swan events and to test its upper scalability limit and the gas fees for Ethereum and Bitcoin is skyrocketing it's very expensive and if you want to trade on uniswap you need at least 500 or 400 dollars just to trade and swap tokens now cortis's tech right here is stress testing chainlink oracle networks 
during Black Swan events. And as we all know, in 2020, when everything happened with the Black Swan event, with the pandemic happened, Bitcoin went like from 10000 to almost $3,000 in just one day. This can be critical if you don't have price feeds because your protocol can be exploited and, and you can easily lose millions of dollars of your user funds if you don't have a reliable, decentralized, trustless price feed. And as Chainlink's network grows, price of Chainlink can be affected as well. So at the, the end of the year, I wouldn't be surprised if we have more than 1,000 blockchain projects that are integrated with Chainlink. So if you like this video, guys, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe if you want to see more Chainlink videos and tell me your thoughts down in the comments down below. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.